All right, so this morning, we are gonna go down a little hypothetical trail here. Let me paint a picture for you. Imagine that you lived in a world with a hypothetical disease that could be cured by simply working out, a severe disease that is deadly. So even though these aren't the attributes of the disease as it currently stands, let's attribute this to monkeypox. Monkeypox, and the reason I'm saying it is because it's extremely undesirable, right? I mean, you've seen those giant black pock marks that appear on people who have monkeypox. They've described it as extremely painful. I'm painting the picture that it is undesirable. Okay, fair enough. Now, imagine, once again, resetting up the hypothetical world that monkeypox was easily curable solely with dieting and exercise, meaning that if you eat the right foods, if you work out regularly, then you will, um, what you call it, then you would be able to not only beat the disease, but get rid of it and make sure that it would never return, like you would never die from it, right? <clears throat> and it was easily curable. Like the doctor could, you know, just explain that to most people, the average person, the average able-bodied person would be able to fight this off with simple health and exercise, right? And then imagine that people knowing that chose not to do those things and just decided that it was okay to walk around with the monkeypox. And in this hypothetical scenario, these are not monkeypox that go away on their own. Monkey po these monkeypox will only go away with diet and exercise. And people continue to say, well, dieting and exercise is hard. So instead of doing that, I am just going to choose to live my life out in this way. And when you go to the grocery store, the person who handles your groceries has pockmarks on them. And also for the hypothetical, this is not to paint monkey, the, this hypothetical strain of monkeypox is contagious, but it is, I'm just speaking about solely the aesthetic. So I'm not saying that you have fear of contracting the disease from this person handing it off to you. I'm just saying, Imagine yourself in a world surrounded by people who have the monkeypox and are choosing not to do anything to cure it with nutrition and exercise, right? So the store clerk has it, your therapist has it, your doctor. Like imagine going to your doctor's office and you see your doctor with the monkeypox and they're treating you, they're taking your temperature, they're telling you how to be more healthy with yourself in your life and they have monkeypox all over themselves. Whenever you go to your therapist, she's telling you how to improve your life, but she has monkeypox. The president of the United States, covered in monkeypox, trying to tell us how to run the country, what we should do domestically and internationally, covered in monkeypox. That sounds crazy, right? Stupid. Why would anybody ever do that? Why would you want to live in a world like that? You would want better for people to not be sick and in pain all of the time. And the people who you thought were okay with that or complacent with it are probably mentally ill, right? So why do we treat obesity any differently? That's it. That's the video. Everything, go back. You can rewind the video and watch everything that I've described thus far and apply it to obesity. A deadly disease that is cured with a proper diet and exercise. The average person knows this and still in 50% uh, 50 of America are overweight. Why? Why then do the average person trust overweight people to make those kind of decisions? Any kind of decision. Why would you take advice from an obese person who is fully able-bodied, knowing that with the proper diet, nutrition, and exercise, they could easily cure themselves of this life-threatening ailment, and they are choosing not to. Any human being with a personality trait that knows that they have a life-threatening disease that they can actively manage and reverse and is choosing not to do anything about that, I don't find anything else that you say after that valid. And I know that I'm mean, 
and even fat phobic for saying these kind of things. But up until I made the switch in this video talking about obesity, you probably thought that everything that I was saying before that was silly because why in the hell would we live in a world like that? Well, we do.